Hi, welcome back. All right, so in the last video, we had a little bit of an introduction to text in Sibelius, and in this one, we're going to start to add some stickings to our scores so uh, it can start to take shape a little more. So uh, to use stickings uh, or lyrics more appropriately, uh, we can either just select the first note we want to start entering on or just select the bar in general, and then it'll pick up at the beginning. However, if you want to start in the middle of the bar, uh, you'd want to actually select that note. We're going to start from the beginning, so I'll select that first note, come up to Create, Text, Lyrics, Line 1, or Command L. That's definitely a keyboard shortcut that would be good to get familiar with, simply because I know you'll be coming in and writing lyrics, uh, or stickings rather, pretty regularly. And the way you go about entering them is pretty basic. You just enter the notes you want and then hit Spacebar to move to the next note. Uh, there's a few different ways you can advance, but that's typically the easiest. So I'm going to use lowercase for my taps and then uppercase for accents. So let's enter R and L, R, L. And you'll see there's a little bit of a flash that kind of comes up. If you have magnetic layout turned on, that's just what's going on there. It's just basically checking to see if everything is in line. So if I continue to progress through there, just space bar, L, space bar. Just using the space bar to progress right on through this little left. Now, if I was to double space over something, this line's going to come up. Uh, basically, that's for, in lyrics and vocal scores, that's basically saying that that word or syllable is supposed to sustain through there. And the way to get rid of that uh, is you actually have to back up over to the actual sticking prior to the one where you entered it. So now I'll go back and... Typically what I do is I just escape out and start over again because there's no way to avoid uh, having that line pop up, unfortunately. Left, right, left, right, left, left, right. All right, so I'm going to fill in the rest of that uh, later on. But you could do the same thing with the tenor score. Not going to go through that all right now, but that's kind of the basic idea. Now, as I mentioned before, there is also percussion uh, text, and I'll kind of I'll do a little bit of entry for you uh, for that, just so you can kind of see the difference here. Um, but I think you'll you'll get it right away what the the benefit is to not using this. So it comes up R L R L. Now, if I don't want to use that, see, I'm I'm actually hitting the backspace key now. It can't actually go backwards. Where here in the lyrics, if I hit the backspace key, see it lets me actually back up and, and re-enter or uh, enter them however I want. Also, if you want to, um, let's say that this was a double stop, um, or if I wanted to actually say RL, you could put two on the same one if you chose to. Uh, or if, if your preferred way of writing in doubles was to say RRLL, RRLL, you could do that as well, and that works there. Whoops. L, R, R, L, etc., etc. So there you go. There's a little bit of an overview of sticking. Next time, we'll actually address uh, technique text in a little more depth than we did the first time. So we'll see you then.